This video may contain scenes that are stretching for people who went through this fire in 2009. I'm asking for anyone who went through this fire not to watch this, please. James Fussell, also with you, Action 446, from Last Play Idiots. How going? Welcome back to Inside the Firestorm Part 4. Today, the special guest is right beside me. Hello, everyone, James Fussell. Okay, without further ado, let's get into the action. Before I get into the action, the only, pro only, one way I'm doing, one, only way I'm doing this is because our town's coming up. Turn in Pop's house. Sit back. Nick and Jen and as usual, I'll put the description about the fire down below. They also you know, live you know in what I mean. Home, which has been designated as a safe house by the local fire guard group. That's when Ross... No house is safe during that day. Yeah. Uh, came up with the other kids. <laughs> Not even a church. Grandchildren, Mac and Aiden, and the dog, Jazz. And a big <laughs> notice. And then he made a sort of thing. And then he said a big minutes after that, that Mac came in and said, oh, while I'm here, can I have a cold bath, Pop? And I said, yeah, go for it. And then when he finished, he said, well, let it out. And I said, no, leave the water in the bath because it's, that's always you know, handy to have. When is it? By late afternoon, the sun is still high, but Victoria is black with smoke. And a True. part of the state is about to become an unlikely yeah. victim of the day's events. Yep. And, and we were Yet another well, fire we were has been at deliberately... We were in Axdale that day. We were in Cape Flat. We lived in Cape Flat yeah. when, that, when that happened. You know what I mean? Yeah. Bendigo! Tim Pascoe is completely unaware. Don't say nothing from this one. I'm totting up the house, just doing all that stuff that gets neglected over the week. Um, with the, yeah, the new air conditioner going, um, it's working like an absolute treat. It was gorgeous. I just got it put in the week before. Um, the house would never been so comfortable in summer. The fire is quickly spreading, but living so close to a city, Tim is one of a majority to see no need for a plan. And mobile phone starts ringing. I go to uh, mum from. She's up at my auntie's place in Yarrawonga and they're having trouble with their TV. So she's wanting some advice. Um, while I'm talking to her, um, well, as soon as I walked outside, you know, I'm talking and I'm looking up at the sky and it's like, what the... Just this intense grey sky and just the slightest smell of smoke. But it was just like, what, what is this? Uh, first I'm thinking it's a bomb, which was seemed really illogical but then the next thought was no it's a fire it's definitely a fire one gully within the hour there are spark yeah, fires in or iron bark so no it's iron bark the maiden gully and long gully area are being asked to please implement their fire plans so it's literally in the cbd Jonathan. not quite the cbd but it is certainly approaching it built up parts of bendigo Goodness, mate. True. Standing between Our Nan was on the front lines of a wall of flames. Is a garden yeah. hose. We've gone running out the back just in time to see this monster fire just uh, hurtling right at us. All we had time to do was drop the hoses and just scream, run. And drop the hose and bolt. For our lives, basically, up side yard and up onto Union Street turned around and like this first wave hit the back of the house and you could almost it almost shook the house like it was like it was a solid object hitting the house you know um, whack, it 
it's hit it again, and she's just gone up. Like, uh, like Nick Mai? Like that. Tim's house is one of 58 destroyed in Bendigo. It was tragic, but at the end of the day, we walked out of there. A lot of people couldn't do that. Tim's neighbour, 48-year-old Mick Kane, died in his driveway. That happened up the way from my nan. His wife Carol and sister Jill, helpless as he tried to escape. And my mate's brother-in-law nearly died on the same day too. You know who. The fire that moved so rapidly towards Strathewen has more towns in its sights. Jesus. In King Lake West, Christ. yet another family are in range. The yep. fire pump, which was always kept in the shed, um, that connects onto a ring main that I had under the ground, just a two inch ring main with three 36 metre hose reels around the house. Jason Lynn has everything he needs to protect the family home. Since records began, only one person has died defending a defendable house. Until Black Saturday. The plan is for his wife yeah. Ruth and their two young children to. Say the, the figures they be down below how many minute, people stayed in the fen and died while they were trying to the defend their homes. It's a good idea. I'm thinking what they tell you. If you're going to leave, leave early. Checking the time right now. Your house because you'll be safe. So she said to me, "Well, if there's a fire place, I'm going." And I, I said, "No, you better not." Um, I said, I can smell it. If I can smell it like that, it must be close. You better not go. And she said, please let me go. Please let me go. And I said, I said, well, if you want to go, go now. According to CFA advice, Ruth has made the worst possible decision to take to the road when a fire is approaching. My daughter, Julia, was asleep in her cot, in her nappy. So just in a nappy, that's it. She grabbed her and my son, and I just sent, and she said, I'm going, and she took off down the road. A few hundred yards away, Ross Buchanan has returned from dropping off his teenage sons at their grandparents. When I came outside, I scared, and... When I looked across the paddocks, the flames were coming. And there it was, at my place. Oh my lord. It was disbelief. And it was. It's a nightmare. So I did my best and sprayed water all around. You know, we both were isolated in the Bendigo fire because that was close to where we live right now. The DSE. Because um, I live in a one-way street, so there's only one way out. And they come racing up the road and they said, Ross, the whole street down the road, just get out, mate. He says, I can't force you. He says, just go. And uh, I realised, you know, it's, we're in trouble here. It was just dead car. Not even a breath of wind. And I thought, this is good, you know, like, what's, what's going on here? Like, it's just so... You calm before the fire. Day, such a hot wind. And oh, wind everybody stopped. calls it calm before the storm. Yeah. And I thought, this, this maybe the fire is not coming now. And then um, I could hear it. You, I could actually hear it. I could still smell that real strong eucalyptus burning smell. But I could hear the noise. Because of, of, of those leaves, Kai. That why this guy is black as black can be. Like and Nan and found one of those burnt leaves, remember? With the fire come through. Out front of her place. And in there, out the front. Flat out, hosing the house. Yeah, My gosh. See, Look at those leaves going fire, up one by and one. Sort of felt oh. weak. At the knees, sort of thing. I always thought that was just like a saying, but yeah, I felt weak. And I was thinking, when's the bit you meant to go inside? I thought, well, I'm not going inside with this. And then the fire pump just Gone. stopped. 
and my heart just sunk. I just thought There's I'd go down and see what's wrong with the pump. Park, hard to see, and but as I got down towards I could see the fire pump on fire. So I just turned around and walked back to the house. Yeah. Meanwhile, Ross is overcome and tries to escape in his car. I would get through the paddock side areas and it was just smoky. And I would get to the bush side parts and the flames were surrounded both sides. I can't believe I'm panicking. You know, maybe it is. My body was chasing that day. I'm doing and everyone we want. I'm not really thinking about we anybody or anything. You know, when when I got out, what did you think I, thought, mm -hmm. I did say to myself that was stupid. <laughs> Doing that is stupid. Jason's fight for his life is just beginning. I could start to see parts of the house burning. And as I'm moving away, I could hear all the windows smashing in the house. And I, I knew that that was gone. You could see from one end to the other. It was like... As usual, hit the like button 303 British Caliber Bullets. Mm. See you in the next one. Goodbye. Farewell. Yeah, Amen. Amen. Never mind, we'll fight and fight and win. No word from me.